Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we're going to be discussing what is possibly the most iconic animal that was ever added to InGen's list. A dinosaur that has appeared in every single chapter of the Jurassic Park saga, whether it be novel or film. This carnivore happens to be my personal favorite dinosaur that ever existed, and I'm sure that many others out there feel the same way as well. This is the most famous predator from the Cretaceous period, and the animal that paleontologists have named the Tyrant Lizard King. Tyrannosaurus was a member of the Tyrannosauridae family, and it was discovered by Barnum Brown in the early 1900s. Named by paleontologist Henry Fairfield Osborne in 1905, T-Rex was well known to have roamed much of North America during its reign on the planet. Over 65 million years ago, Tyrannosaurus would hunt in regions as far north as Canada and roam possibly all the way down to at least New Mexico. However, most of the more notable remains of the animal have been recovered from the famous Hell Creek Formation, which consists of Montana, Wyoming, and North and South Dakota. Animals that shared their ecosystems with Tyrannosaurus at the time were the Titanosaurian giants like the Alamosaurus, as well as the massive pterosaurs of the sky, Quetzalcoatlus. Other species that also lived during this time were Stygimoloch, Struthiomimus, and Ankylosaurus, but it was the Hadrosaurs that would be in the most serious danger of becoming the king of the dinosaurs next meal. After a tooth was found lodged in the tailbone of an Anmatosaurus who was lucky enough to get away, scientists could confirm that predatory behavior was indeed a part of the Tyrannosaurus lifestyle. Being armed with the most powerful bite of any land-living creature on the planet, Tyrannosaurus could deliver a blow that would devastate any creature that would ever come into contact with it. Recent research done by the Smithsonian Channel even claims that the dinosaur had a bite force of 400,000 pounds per square inch. Regardless if this is accurate or not, the Rex did in fact have the benefit of possessing large powerful bone-crushing teeth that were constantly getting replaced in its skull. The most noteworthy adversary of the Cretaceous Tyrant was of course its arch rival, the mighty Triceratops. And prehistoric battles between these two were bound to have taken place millions of years ago in several fights for survival during that time. Other important things about T-Rex happen to be its uniquely intelligent design. In fact, the Tyrannosaurus happens to be one of the smartest dinosaurs in the fossil record, almost being up there with contemporaries like the Troodon. Tyrannosaurus also had an incredibly advanced visual acuity and sense of smell that helped it survive in the dire conditions in which it lived. Weighing in at a massive 9 tons and reaching lengths of 40 feet, the T-Rex was definitely the apex predator of its time, and its size alone could strike fear into the hearts of many of the other creatures that shared its environment. Unfortunately, 65 million years ago, the animal would fall into extinction. Eventually, fossilized tree sap would be unearthed that contained the dinosaur's blood trapped in old mosquitoes. After extracting what they could, InGen scientists would begin to fill in its genetic code with amphibian DNA and successfully create their very own genetically engineered Tyrannosaurs. Jurassic Park's Rexes were first bred on Isla Sorna by the genetics company. In the novels, InGen created both an adult and juvenile specimen that were shown living together in the same enclosure in Jurassic Park. In the second book, we get information on the behavior of a mated pair that begin to defend their nest from intruding humans. In Michael Crichton's novels, the Rexes are shown to have a very dark reddish color and even have a decaying scent about them whenever they're nearby. In the movie canon, the first time we get to see a Tyrannosaurus is during the main road attack scene after the power goes out. Here we can see that Injun's adult female animals are a dull brown, and they're quite aggressive when compared to other dinosaurs that we saw previously in the park. We later see the same individual attack and kill Donald Gennaro, a Gallimimus, and two Velociraptors. Now they're said to grow 12 meters in length and only weigh in at about 7 tons, as opposed to the 9 like those in the fossil record. Their wrists are pronated, and their skulls are shrink-wrapped like most of the other clones designed by InGen. In The Lost World in Jurassic Park 3, we're shown what the male versions of these creatures look like. Differences between these individuals and the females happen to be their color schemes and facial structures, with the male rexes having a green skin tone and a much more pronounced skull shape than that of the females. They're also in possession of a larger throat and have even been shown to being covered in facial scars that many believe to be the result of fighting for a mate, which is totally understandable after newer and more recent studies on the engine rexes have come out to suggest that these animals may even have mated for life. In the movie canon, these creatures are also said to be in possession of very bad eyesight, to the point in which the rex will lose you if you don't move. 
The last time we saw one of these creatures was after the original individual killed Eli Mills and escaped at the Lockwood Estate. It later broke into a Californian zoo and roared in the face of the much smaller and outmatched modern lion. And that is so far the last time that we've seen the T-Rex in the movie series. But we can rest assured that we'll be seeing it again in the very near future. Now I'm curious to hear what do all of you guys think about the engine Tyrannosaurus? What is your favorite individual in the entire series and what would you like to see it do in the future? Whatever your thoughts and opinions may be, I'd love to hear about them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that you guys tell me that you appreciate what I do so much, and I seriously am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do to help. Honestly, it means the world. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I would appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And as always, take it easy.